What's going on guys, Kaivox here, and welcome to a new wand review. We haven't done one of these in a while, so hopefully you guys are gonna end up enjoying this, and if you do, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna submit your own wands for review for a future video, send them over to newwandsday at gmail.com, and there are a few rules that you guys have to follow, so just go to the description, follow the rules. It'll say rules for submitting wands or whatever, whatever it says. Just, just follow those rules. Ratio is the size. You know, you kind of want it to be the ratio of this screen here, right? 16 by nine, that's what, that's what you want, okay? You also want it to be lit properly and in focus, just kind of the, the general thing. Um, and preferably nothing weird in the background because I, <laughs> I always look in the background for weird stuff and sometimes I make fun of you guys when I could see like your random left foot in the shot, which I think we're gonna see some of those today. Maybe right foots, maybe who knows. This is how these work. Um, you guys submit your wands, I then receive them, and uh, I'll show you guys some of the wands and maybe it'll inspire you to create some new stuff. I know that some of your guys' wands have inspired me to create wands. It's just a good way to share, it's a good way for us all to um, to see different creations and also just different drawings. So you can submit drawings or actual creations. So let's just jump right into it. And um, I'm gonna just go back a few, probably a few months and just start going through random, um, random emails and showing you guys some wands. The first wand was submitted by McCoy. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right. Um, just so you guys know, don't get offended if I say your name wrong or completely butcher it, you've been warned. And if I'm a little bit judgy on your wands, um, this is what you got yourself into, okay? It's not my fault. I, 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 I warn you guys every time that I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna tell you what you need to fix um, and my opinion. But again, this is my opinion. So if you get offended, please don't. It's just my opinion. It may be wrong. It's an opinion. Now, that being said, Let's talk about this dude's wands. So you submitted two wands um, and they're both pretty basic designs. Um, for your first two wands, pretty good. Not gonna really hate on anything. Um, I'm not a big fan of painting too much of the wand. Uh, the gold one is, it's okay, it's not bad. Um, I do like how you did the, um, the inside grooves golden. Looks pretty good. Um, again, pretty basic designs, not too bad. The next few wands were submitted by Isaiah. Um, and I like all three of these. I like all of these wands. Um, the center one is your personal wand and it's it's pretty nice. I I do like it. It kind of, <laughs> from far away, it kind of reminds me of cheese um, because one, because of the color. And then like, you know how cheese on top of a pizza kind of gets like that yellow, like it's like yellow, but then it's like, like the black burnt little edges and stuff. It's kind of what it looks like, but I actually really like it, even though I'm saying it wrong. I really like cheese. So, I mean, of course I'm gonna like the cheese, the cheese wand. No, I'm just kidding. It, it's a cool wand. I like it. It's simple, um, but refined. And it looks like you've made what you wanted to make. Like it, it, it's it's done well. You did a very good job. Um, the walnut one is is also pretty nice. It's It's simple, but elegant pretty good. You'll hear me say that a lot. Usually when things are more simple, I kind of lean towards the more elegant if it's done properly. Um, and then the other one's super nice too. I do like the pommel heavy um, version. I, I really like pommel heavy ones. I don't know why, but they kind of, they have this different feel to them. So whenever I see a pommel heavy like that, it's always pretty good. It's more of a handle heavy because it's kind of like the whole thing, but I would still consider it somewhat of a, of a more of a pommel a little bit, but Nice job. If you wanna submit your wands ready photo for um, Ender's Army, I am still collecting all of those. I may be posting one soon of all the ones that I have right now, but if you guys wanna submit it for a future one, just send them also over to newwandsday at gmail.com and I will eventually take all of those and put them all in one big collage. And basically what it is is just your wands ready. You can hold it wherever you want, but you know, it's more of a, like a portrait style with your wand and it could be your own wand that you created or one that you got from me or a universal wand or a, a, a Harry Potter character wand, it doesn't really matter. Um, just wands ready, boom, and uh, 
and you guys will technically be a part of Ender's army once you do that, you know. It's a play on Dumbledore's army. I don't know if you guys figured that one out. <laughs> this one was submitted by Michael Ewing. Um, and I, I'm not a big fan of the general shape of the wand, um, mostly because it's, it's too fat. Um, but it is cool because it is petrified wood, so that means that it was struck by lightning. According to the email, I'm not sure exactly what petrified wood means, but according to Michael, that's what it means. So I'm gonna take your word on it. You better not be making me look stupid right now. But anyway, I like the design, but if it just, the whole thing was just a little bit thinner, just, just thinner, it would have been a really, really cool wand. That being said, next few wands were submitted by Becca. Um, here's what's cool about these is that they are made with polymer clay and a wooden dowel as the, as the core, as the, the, the base to build up on. Um, so they're not made out of real wood, but they have a really cool look to them. Um, I would say I like all of them. All four of these wands look very unique and very cool. You can't get that look with um, a lot of different woods. You'd have to do some pretty good carving and a lot of engraving to be able to actually get it to look like these. Um, some of these I would say are almost impossible to make out of wood unless you have some very, very high skills and patience and a lot of attention to detail. But um, with clay, you have a lot. If you, as long as you're creative enough and you're artistic enough, you can you can pretty much make anything with clay. Um, so they probably weigh a decent amount too because they are made out of clay. They're 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 gorgeous ones. All three, all four of them. I almost said three. There's four. All four of them are great ones. Next wand was submitted by Aaron. I believe he had someone make it for him. It's a gorgeous wand. Um, to be honest with you, it's. Uh, it's really nice. I love the shapes of it. Um, one of my favorite submissions that I've gotten so far. Definitely um, more of my style. I, I could see myself making something similar to that. I do like the handle. It just kind of reminds me of, um, of a rifle handle, uh, like a wooden rifle handle. And it just, it's very nice. I know that it, you, said, you said it was inspired by a katana. Um, I don't see as much of the katana in there, but I do see more of like a like a rifle or a like a machete or something like that because of the style of the handle but it does look gorgeous this wand was submitted by uh, michael miller and it is a um double-ended wand so according to mike it's uh inspired by a double-sided lightsaber like uh like darth maul's lightsaber i'm assuming um and Look, Mike, I'm gonna be honest with you. Your techniques are really good, but I'm not a big fan of this specific wand. Um, but I do like, I like the handle, I like the blades, but I don't love the double-sided part. That's the only thing that I don't love about it. I know that you like to think outside the box. You have a couple of other crazy designs that I've seen um, and they're cool, but not for me but you did, you did a good job. Your technique is, is very good. Um, all your all your carving's really good. It all, it, all, it all looks good. And I know you're always trying to figure something out. You're always trying to, to come up with some new thing. So nice job. Joe Claude uh, submitted a wand that's uh, made out of bone and what was it, holly? Voldemort inspired wand, yep. So made out of holly and bone. So um, it looks cool. Uh, it looks like you're, you put it on a tarp to take the picture. Um, half of your pictures are out of focus, so I'm not going to be showing those. So this is a really cool idea. I, I'm not a big fan of the bone thing because I wouldn't want to be holding the bone all the time. But um, it's cool. It looks decent. I, I, I see the Voldemort inspiration there. Um, really nothing bad to say about it. It's a decent wand. It's, it's good. I like the wrap. Um, I'm sure you also glued it in as well. I would hope you did. I would hope you don't just trust the wrap to do it. Um, it looks good. I like it. Here you submitted another wand that uh, has a simple tree-esque design on the handle. Um, it looks pretty good. One thing that I don't love about it is that somewhat natural look, the natural um, bend that you put on it, and then it goes into a very pointy tip. I feel like you could have rounded that tip off a little bit more and it'd, get, it'd have more of a feel of Harry Potter style wand. Um, it's a little on the too pointy side. 
All right, and then we have one more submitted from Joe. My thoughts on this one. I'm not a big fan of the shape of it. I read your whole description about um, the materials, which is really cool. If you wanna actually put that in the comment section, um, leave the comment in there, letting us know the story behind this one. And if you guys wanna go check that out, hopefully Joe saw this and he actually left the comment down there letting us know. Um, but there's a whole background story about it and why it's an actual antler and everything. Um, but I'm not a big fan of it. I just feel like it's two different shapes that were just kind of stuck together. Um, that's my my main gripe about it. I feel like it's too angular and then per almost perfectly straight, even though it's not perfectly straight. Um, it, it doesn't flow well together. Overall shape of it, just I don't I don't I don't like the. I, it makes me feel a little uneasy. It makes me feel a little uncomfortable. William submitted this wand and uh, well this drawing of a wand and. It's, so there's a lot of problems here that we have. Um, the idea I, I see, but you have a lot going on. You have the spiral on the blade. You have the um, the guard combination there meeting the, meeting the handle. And the blade, it, it, it doesn't flow well. Um, and then you have the spirals on the handle and then you have the big spiral at the end. So main issue is one, the wand is very, very skinny. So it's gonna be way weaker. The, the, the spiral around the blade, I don't know if that's carved or if that's painted on. Um, and then you have the spirals on the handle. Again, is it carved or painted on? And also, it doesn't flow as well with the handle. So I would take away one of those. Either take away the spirals on the handle. I would probably take away the swirl um, on the blade itself. And then that pommel, you're going to have to change a lot there because it is much way too not going to work skinny because it will, it'll probably break while you're carving it because it's so skinny. If you can make it without breaking, it's gonna break once you like rest it on something or something touches it or it falls off a table or something like that. So little tip for designing, you just have to think about weak spots because I've made wands before that are weak and um, they have weak spots and it's just not a good idea. Just try to avoid adding a weak spot to a wand. Um, so that I would definitely either circle, make the circle go all the way around and touch the other end and then maybe continue to swoop. Maybe that would work out. So basically kind of have it, kind of have it go this way, continue and then basically touch maybe right there and then maybe have it continue to spiral around. That would, that would strengthen it up a bit and give you some more flexibility when it comes to the design, but it's a, it's a good start. Just refine, you just need to refine a little bit. And now we have a submission by Logan. Um, I really like this design. It's a simple design. It looks like you took a, a tree and you chopped it, chopped the branch off of it and carved it away and it was a, a cool shape and you kept it and it worked. Um, I really like this wand. You can still go in, maybe add a couple of runes or something like that here and there. You don't have to. It may add a little bit more of a wand-esque design to it, just make it feel more like, um, take Grigorovich's wand. His wand is is very similar to that, where it's kind of a piece of a branch almost, but it has some runes on there and it kind of makes it just, make it feel a little bit more cool. But I like it. Now we have some submissions from Aiden um, from Oxford, England. Coo, coo, coo. And uh, we, we have three wands here. So this first one, um, I would say the issue that I have with it is that the, the burns on it, um, the, the symbols are cool, but I feel like they need to be a little bit more refined and a little bit more finished. Um, I think you overdid it a little bit and um, got overzealous with it. The wand itself is a cool idea. I just feel like it could be could be done a little bit better, but it's still pretty good. The next one, I, I'm assuming this next one is Walnut. Let me see. Yes, it's Walnut. Um, I really like this one. Nice, tight spiral going all the way around. I like to call that a ribbon spiral because it makes the wand almost look like a ribbon, um, like that part of the wand is a ribbon. Um, not sure what it's actually called, but that's what I call it, so whatever. The engravings on the handle, they're pretty good. You did a decent job with that bottom one. The top one is a little, um, a little chewy. So 
you got to go back in there and refine those a little bit, make them a little bit better. Now this last one, very Newt Scamander-esque. I like it. I like the blue that you put in there. Um, it almost looks like like flame. It kind of reminds me of a, like a blue flame. Um, looks good. I don't know what you, did you paint it? Was that, is that like a Sharpie? Is that like a marker? What'd you do there? It looks good. I like the, the rough look of that spiral. It looks like you also stained it a little bit. That's probably how you got that that darker color on the wood. Out of your three, this is definitely my favorite one. Um, and I would say that that's probably your simplest design. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely my favorite one out of all of them. So um, nice job, Aiden. All right, so this one was submitted by um, X, X Mental. I believe you submitted some stuff before. Um, I can't see the black one too well. So I'm gonna just go with the top one. I don't love it. It has the same feel that that antler wand from before had where the shapes are just, it's like you took two shapes and smashed them together and it just, it didn't work. The finish on it's good. The handle I really like, I just don't like how the blade is attached to the handle or a part of the handle, but it's it just, it's too jarring. It's it's straight and then it goes, Wah! and it's it just, it throws me off. For this next one, we got, we got five wands in this one picture. I'm gonna go through these really quick. Um, the one on the left, it is, uh, cool it's a little bit on the fat side the next one kind of reminds me of hermione's wand a little bit um has that same style looks like you probably used either some clay or some glue the next one looks very ghostly and 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 weird and crazy um this other one kind of reminds me of a mushroom uh one because of the cracks and stuff in it and then you probably used clay i'm assuming that a lot of this is made out of clay and then that last one i don't like it I, it's it's weird to me. The next the last one is like a little weird. It, it kind of reminds me of coral a little bit, um, not from the Walking Dead coral, like from the sea. Um, and it's uh, it's it's a little weird, but uh, they're they're cool but weird. These are these are cool but weird wands. I feel a lot of like you, a lot of your guys' wands are just making me uneasy today. But these are like. I think you did it on purpose. I think you wanted them to be a little like creepy and, and weird. So if that was your goal, success, my friend. Next wand was submitted by Jared. It is a um, three-year-old pobbler. Is that what you said? Yeah. And it has a wizard head at the end. I'm not a big fan of the design. You did a decent job. Um, I'm not a big fan of animal head, people head, skulls. Um, stuff like that. So that being said, I, I, I don't really want to judge it too much, but I'm not a big fan of the design itself. This one was submitted by uh, Tyler. Um, I don't remember your original one, but you said that this is your redesign of the previous one that you sent. But let's see, let's see. Nice design, kind of has a vasey, a vasey design to it where it's, uh, it's a little curvy. And uh, it's it's nice. I like it. I, I definitely do not hate it. It's simple in not the best way. It's not a bad wand whatsoever. It's just a little bit on the too simple side. I know there's a lot going on. The details aren't deep enough. Maybe that's what's that's what's happening. Um, it almost looks like everything is drawn on. Can't really tell by the picture, but it, it, they're most likely carved in. But based on the the depth of of it, it doesn't look like, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. It's hard, all right? Let's move on to the next wand. All right, now we're gonna rapid fire um, some of these. So this one was submitted by Kai. Uh, it's not bad, but it's, it's too, in my opinion, it's too wavy and too skinny for only being 11 and something inches long. Uh, this one was submitted by Mark, and it's uh, I, the design is very strange, very weird. Uh, it, it almost looks like you have a um, a stormtrooper head on the top of this one right here. And uh, I, 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 I all right now this one um, it looks like a gun almost. This one was submitted by Nick, and it's a weird one. It looks almost like a like a pistol or something like that. Too much of an angle, too 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 much. Definitely, um, the ideas are there, but I maybe straighten it out a little bit more and, you, and you'd have a cooler wand. Now we have one submitted by Logan. Ooh, look at that foot. We got a foot. I think that's a foot. That looks like a foot. It's all right. Um, it looks like we got some silver at the end there. 
Is that burned on? Is that a burned on piece of solder or something? Kind of looks like it. Or it's aluminum foil. I don't know. Looks cool though. Um, needs a little bit of refining, but it's pretty good. Next one was submitted by Shannon. It's uh, it's very green. Not a big fan of it. Um, not sure what it's made out of, but too green. Next one was submitted by uh, Dead Ops, and we got two wands here. They're they're both they're they're both pretty decent. They're both pretty good. Um, not much to say. The white one is a little too simple. Not enough going on there. Um, and the other one's pretty cool looking. I like it. It's a, it's a basic design. The wrap looks pretty good. I like the color. I like the general shape of it. So pretty good. Nice job. This one was submitted by Ethan. It looks pretty good. Simple design. Maybe put a little bit of a finish in there. Maybe a little bit of burning, some color, um, just to kind of make it pop a little bit more. So you get a little bit more detail of that. Um, looks like a head at the end there. Not a big fan of the head designs, but this looks pretty good. And uh, nice job. Actually, I just realized it looks like it was made by your grandpa. So tell your grandpa, nice job. This one was submitted by Lauren. I'm assuming that's you, Lauren, in the background. Um, and I like it, it looks cool. I like the uh, the cutouts. It looks like you cut those out by hand on the handle. It looks pretty good. Pretty decent one, nothing really to complain about it. I like the finish that you did on it so that it, it you know made everything pop. That's what I was talking about, making it pop a little bit. So you get a little bit more out of your design so it just doesn't look washed out. Looks good. I really like the blade, and I like that uh, that little split that you have right there. Um, I'm assuming that that was from just a groove that when you when you did a finish on it or something, it, it kind of filled in a little bit. Nice job. This next one was submitted from uh, Matt from the UK, and it's uh, I, I I like it. You put a little bit of silver paint in there. Um, I see you glued on that twine or whatever whatever that is. Um, ropey looking part of it. I really like the design. I like these little black spots that you put in there. It looks really cool. Um, one thing that I would do is I would either dirty up that um, the wrap that you did on there or use a different style wrap that would go, would flow better with the rest of the colors of the wand. Other than that, it's pretty good design. This next one is going to be the final wand of the day. So if I didn't review your wand today. I will be doing more of these videos. Um, this was just part one. I still have a ton of emails to go through and a ton more wands to show you guys. So look forward to the next couple weeks for these videos to be coming out on a regular basis. I'm going to try to catch up um, as best as I can. Uh, I, this video is already pretty long, so you know I don't want to make it too long. But anyway, this one was submitted by Jesse. Jesse Roberts, and um, it's a beautiful one. I love that natural spiral at the end, I'm assuming. Um, I'm assuming that that was just part of the branch that you took this off of. This is a great wand. Um, I think you should have made the guard a little bit more natural looking. It's a little too square. Um, I think if it was a little bit more natural, a little bit more round, it would have flowed better. I've been using flow a lot. If you guys, I hope you guys understand what I mean by flow, but it just wouldn't be as drastic of a difference when it comes to the handle being all nice and rounded and smooth. And then you get to that, that knot right there and it's very square. Um, if I feel like that's the only thing that I would have changed, I, I would have made that a little bit more rounded and um, more natural looking as opposed to more machined looking. It's a beautiful wand and you got really lucky with that spiral at the end. If that's natural, I think it is. If you did it yourself, even better. If you actually carved that yourself, nice freaking job. Um, I would say that this is probably one of my favorite wands that I reviewed today. So nice job, Jesse. And um, I hope you keep making wands because I know you're you're making other ones. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope, uh, I hope this was fun for you as it, as much fun for you as it was for me. And um, I hope you guys stay tuned for some more of these. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Let me know out of all of these, which one was your favorite. And um, maybe I'll do some giveaways in the future. Maybe I'll do some like sticker giveaways or something like that. I don't know. I've done it in the past. Let me know if you guys want me to, um, do something like that. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll we'll talk about it later. We'll, we'll figure this out later. If you guys want to support the channel, jump over to the Patreon and see if there's anything there that interests you. And if you guys want to join the community there, that'd be great. Hang out here too. This is also a great place to chat with us and um, have some fun talking about Harry Potter stuff, book stuff, um, 
other random stuff sometimes. And don't forget to join us on the live stream every Friday and some other whatever. I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>